So I have this PowerBook G4 as you know, and today we're gonna do something crazy with it. Well, we're gonna modernize it and put an SSD in it, seriously. Yep, an SSD. Now, I happen to have this Intenso one. Um, came out of, I think, my Acer, and then I wanted to put it into my uh, LAN party machine, but um, I figured, you know, why not give this old PowerBook G4 some love? Now, there's only one problem. Um, there is this. SATA, you know. Powerbooks don't have SATA, so I had to purchase an adapter. Now, my concern is that this thing is not going to fit inside of here, because everything is totally crammed and just really tight uh, in here. So, as you can see, I already took it apart and uh, removed the cover with the keyboard and everything and as you see uh, yeah I really I'm not sure if if this is gonna work so well stay tuned okay here we have the old hard drive 80 gigabytes from Toshiba I think it's the original one not sure though could have swapped it out in the past um, it's got some rubberized uh, tape here to, of course, reduce vibration and stuff. You won't be needing that anymore with the SSD, but I still want to put that to use because there is this um, thingy there. Not sure what it does, uh, but um, you know, if this comes in contact with the hard drive or SSD. Probably wouldn't, but you know, just to be sure. I know I never take that much care. Um, just looking for shit too, but this is a pretty nice laptop. I wanna, I wanna fuck that up. So, I suppose, gotta put that some like just how how it's supposed to be. Now, I'm already nervous because this whole thing here is already so big that it, um, you know just fits and now there comes this adapter too so <sighs> I'm really not sure how we're gonna do that um, I really came up with the idea to really for real screw unscrew my new SSD and um, you know see if it gets any smaller you know because probably the components help it like this hopefully it is then it would be no problem, but I'm gonna try anyways. Maybe I can cram it in there. Here is the adapter. Here is the adapter. Is itself is pretty small already, but uh, not small enough. So of course the PowerBook has its own way of connecting to data this is it so that's why we need this and um, not sure how I mean it should be no real concern how to connect it but still if I connect this like so this is supposed to be like this oh dear it's never gonna work. Never ever. Never ever. This computer is never ever getting back together. <laughs> no, seriously. Uh, this is. Uh, I think I really have to modify this SSD. Does this void the warranty? Uh, I don't know, but um probably don't have a warranty anymore if I ever had one I don't know but look at this guys you gotta love SSD technology it is seriously smaller so I think if I if I can jam that out it's still screwed in there of course if I can jam that out it would be no problem to fit inside of this PowerBook now is it gonna be limited by the PowerBook of course 
this won't have SATA 3 speeds with mini ID or PETA or whatever but still um, it should be a hell load faster than with a normal hard drive so let me try to set it up and then I'll come back to you <laughs> here is the SSD now if you can say how how can you do this to an SSD but come on it's just a USB stick with a SATA connector what do you want? But as you see, oh, it's gonna be so great. Okay, SSD is in, and um, I decided to kind of glue it down with this um, rubber thingy uh, to prevent it from like moving around too much. Uh, but the adapter should actually not allow it to jiggle so that this can get um, you know loose um yeah what i'll do next is i will put the uh, cover back on and see um if actually it's getting you know recognized by the computer so i will boot up a leopard dvd before i put it all back together because if it doesn't recognize it um i just have to take this back inside and um uh, you know uh, saves me a lot of work, so let's do that. OMG, can you believe it? It is here indeed. So I will just format it, see if that works. And uh, I think we are ready to go. There we go. So. You know, Max, I've never been too complicated to upgrade to a solid state drive. Um, if you forget what it takes to actually get inside of them, but uh, once you did it, no problems from then on. So I will put you back together and uh, install OS 10 then. Look at that guys, look at that, Colonel Panic, I'm gonna get Panic, wait why can't I just turn it off like no I can't, okay, we'll try it again, maybe that was just a epic fail but um, not too promising. So it looks like it uh, it recognizes the SSD, it installed just fine on it, but um doesn't seem to enjoy it. Let's see if it works now. No blue screen or ah uh, no blue screen. What am I saying? We can't have blue screen on that machine. <laughs> no kernel penny yet. Spinning wheel, spinning wheel, spinning wheel has stopped. And ooh, man, that's always beautiful. Leopard intro. Seriously, why did Apple stop doing making these? They were so awesome. These are like always the Mac greets you, sorta. Why why did they stop doing that? So awesome. I think they did it until 10.6 then they stopped, which is a shame. Yes, I will just set it up real quick. So guys, I can safely say it does work. Now what I'll show you now is I will give it a reboot and see how long it takes to start up. Um, would probably be still way faster on Tiger, but um, Leopard is the more modern operating system and I can already tell this is running so much better than uh, with the hard drive. Um, but see it for yourself. Now this runs now 
the update 10.5.8 it is I think and 10 for Fox additionally installed I will put on there more software of course so yeah sure then it's gonna be slower but still for G4 with only a gigabyte of RAM um, it is really kicking ass with this SSD so I, I always uh, like in my days when I used this computer I had to wait for at least two and a half minutes like for it being at a desktop of course software and stuff but look at this I mean this computer is freaking almost 11 years old and this booted up in this record time I mean it's crazy right it's crazy only a gigabyte of RAM this would be even better with two so what I'll do I will go into the Applications folder and open up everything. Yep, everything. You ready? See how long that takes. Okay, dashboard is a little annoying. Wow. <laughs> the graphics are the best, so that's a uh, reason why I stopped using it. Um, it would just not like keep up with modern stuff anymore mostly in terms of the web browser um, or also uh, like just regular usage in NetBeans for example and that's I think front row starting up there so that's why it went black um, yeah there it is back and I think except iTunes um, and the front row trying to be annoying everything's loaded up yeah there's front row we'll quit out of this yeah there's some that want attention for example mail we don't want that and automator we also don't want that and we also don't want spaces and what does iChat want oh, of course to sign up for like freaking everything okay I can't use iTunes because I don't have the uh, correct quick time version but look at this yeah Geekbench is in triad mode blah 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 no don't check but check this out check this out can I still use spotlight can I search for um, I don't know expose that's what it's Called. There we go. <laughs> Check this out. We're running. How many applications? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 freaking applications on a PowerPC G4 based computer with only a gigabyte of RAM. That's really showing the power of the SSD. Um, there you can see that's Safari and we'll quit out of this. Now, is it, you know, was it worth the upgrade? Nah, of course not, because I'm not gonna use the system, but it was just for the sake of it, you know, just to see if it actually worked, which it did. Um, I had a little concern with this kernel panic there, but that went all the way. It installed the updates fine, it boots up fine. Um, should you do it if you still wanna use this? Well, of course, like, f if you still want to use a system like this, just sh look how fast I can close these applications. <laughs> it's crazy, really, it is. I'm, I'm not shitting you. This, this is like the fastest, this is as fast as it's going to get. So, I will now open it up again, uh, but with the exception of Expose Dashboard and Front Row, because those are more annoying. So, let's do that. <laughs> Yeah, the the only thing that uh, I would upgrade again right here if I could was the graphics card. So, uh, but except that, I mean, check this thing out. It <laughs> like buy a five hundred dollar PC. And guys, I'm a PC user. I'm not. I'm not a Mac fanboy. 
but buy like a cheap computer nowadays and then it, then then select all programs and open them up i bet with you this this is going to be way faster here this old g4 so uh what i wanted to do actually was um search for some more stuff to open up and uh, i found the um yep uh, it's a little slower right now <laughs> uh i found the um utility folder if uh, i can get it open for god's sake come on yeah yeah i know need to calm down some applications here let's get away with mail here and i chat okay so i will also of course open up all of these <laughs> Oh my god, that's insane! Check this out! Wow! This old power book is really... Yeah, it's uh, really multitasking, guys. That is multitasking. It's not gonna get any more multitasking than this. So what I wanna check is, once it, it's loaded up there, I wanna check in the activity monitor and show how much I'm abusing the computer um, of course 100% usage of CPU and uh, I've got 87 max free which is uh, yeah quite a lot to be free to be honest for all these applications being open and we got um, yeah the that's the activity of the hard drive and uh, it's it was slammed once, as you can see there, but um, now it's calmed down. So this SSD is really uh, showing its power there. So I will now close all of these. Wow, check this out, guys. It's insane. I just... Just see how fast this closes. It's like boom, 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 boom. It's like the all. Yeah, we really wanna use. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, there are always some programs that require some more attention. Uh, yeah, yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> no, don't turn on Bluetooth. Okay. Now we're done. All right, so this is it, the quite exciting G4 upgrade with an SSD. Now, was it worth it? Well, I don't know, probably not, but it was just to show you that uh, even an old computer like this can be rather fast. <laughs> See you guys.